my channel this is Laura for today's recipe what I'm gonna share with you is how I make a chuck shoulder roast real easy real simple very few ingredients you just do the few prep steps pop it in the oven and forget about it and by the time you turn around you're gonna have a beautiful tender piece of meat that you can have with some mashed potatoes some corn some dressing whatever you want to pair it with it'll go great if you are new here welcome my name is Laura and if you're a regular, thank you for coming back and spending time with me. If you haven't taken the time to hit that subscribe button, I really would appreciate it if you did. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Don't forget to go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. If you ever have a question about the recipe, leave it in the comments below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And don't forget to share the video with family and friends. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for the ingredients that we are going to use for the roast, I am using a beef chuck shoulder roast, okay? You want to have some marbling and some fat going through your meat, okay? And what I do with the meat before I even start is I add salt and pepper to both sides. Not a whole bunch because we're still going to add some to the, uh, to the broth when we put the, the liquid in there. So lots and lots of flavor. on both sides get this off okay then I just push it in so when I turn it over I don't lose all my seasoning okay we're gonna put this to the side I do take out the meat and leave it on the counter about an hour before I'm gonna use this so that it's not ice cold when you pop it into the pan and lower your heat temperature. Okay, we are going to take one onion. I like to use the yellow onion. And we're just going to slice it. Just in slices. Put it into our bowl. I like to have all my ingredients ready. Okay, and now three cloves of garlic pretty good size. I just put them into my garlic smasher. Okay, and then I just cut the little tails off so that I could smash it. We're not gonna um, dice them or anything. One good smash. Okay, and we're gonna use two bay leaves. Two or three depending on the size. We have some uh, beef broth and a little bit of flour. Okay, I'm gonna transfer you over to the stove and we'll get started. Okay, I am going to use my Dutch oven. We have the oven preheating to 300 degrees. We're gonna cook this low and slow. We're gonna put about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of olive oil and we're gonna let that get hot. And swirl it around. And we're gonna put it on high heat because we're gonna sear the meat. We're gonna sear it real nice and crispy on the outside. Okay, now that we are to the smoke point, I'm gonna take my meat. Let me swivel this around, make sure we get some oil. You hear that? That's exactly what you wanna hear. All that sizzle. Now you don't wanna touch the meat at all right now. Okay, because if you try to move it right now, it's going to stick to the bottom. So just let it be and let it sizzle for about four minutes. Okay, now that it's been searing for about four minutes, see how I'm going to pick it up. You see how it doesn't stick? Look at that. Okay, we're going to swivel the oil around again, turn it over, and let it be for about four minutes. Now that that has seared, I'm going to turn it to the side and sear the side. You don't have to if you don't want to. I just like to. doesn't take it long at all. Okay. We are going to take the meat out and put it into a bowl. All right, we're going to turn the, the heat way down. We're going to pour our onions in there. 
It's going to get hot, but the temperature is already coming down. We don't want this to burn. Let's break up all the onions. Okay, and we are going to throw in our garlic and our bay leaf. Okay, those are translucent. They cook up pretty fast. So we are going to add in our flour. We're going to dust in our flour. About half of this flour. It's about three tablespoons. And we're going to cook this off. Okay, now we're going to take our, our broth and we're going to add it a little bit at a time. We're going to put about a half a cup. We're going to scrape it all up till it thickens up and then we'll add some more. See how fast it thickens up? And we'll add about another half cup. Stir it around. Scrape up the bottom. That's where a lot of flavor is. Okay, we're gonna put our meat back in. And any juices that came out of that. And we're gonna add the remainder of the broth. It may seem a little loose right now, but as it cooks down, it'll thicken up. I'm gonna taste the broth to see if it doesn't need salt. We definitely need some salt, spoon of salt, and some more pepper. Okay, and that's it. Okay, this has come to the boil state. So we are going to turn this off. We are going to put the lid and pop it into the oven. I have my oven set at 300 degrees. I'm going to let it go for about three hours because I already know that's about what time I... I like the texture of my meat. But if you want to go slower, put it at 275. Let it just go low and slow, and it'll be so tender. Okay, guys, I will be back. Okay, everybody, I finally took the roast out of the oven. I checked it at about at the half time, and I just turned the meat over to make sure, but I want to show you what we're looking for here. I hope you can see. See how tender that is? So you just want to be able to break it up with a fork or a knife. So what I like to do at this point is I, I turn the meat over. Just be careful and don't splash yourself. And let it sit here and cool for a minute and then we're going to transfer the meat to a plate so we can strain out the, the gravy part of it. So I'm going to transfer you to the counter. All right, I'm gonna transfer the meat over to the plate. We're gonna set that aside. We're not done with the, with the bowl yet, with the pot. What we are going to do is we're gonna transfer the gravy. We're gonna uh, run it through a sieve just so we can get everything out and it's smooth gravy. Okay, and then the um, spatula, we're just going to push this through like this because we don't want all this stuff in there because really the onions fall apart. If you want a smooth gravy, this is what you want to do. Okay, there we go. See? Really nice and creamy. I'm going to plate this up and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Look at that. I'm going to give you a close-up first. Doesn't that just look delicious? And then if you want to, I poured the gravy into a gravy boat. Let's go ahead and just pour some on here. Look at that. I paired it up with some mashed potatoes and I get a little bit of parsley. Sprinkle it on just to give it a little bit of a, a look. Okay, and there it is. Look at that. Look at that meat. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how tender this is that you can just cut it with, with the fork. Look at that. Just real tender, tender. Just take your time with it in the oven. Don't rush it. It will be delicious. 
Okay, let's give this guy a taste. Okay, guys, let's take a taste. A little bit of potato, a little bit of the meat and gravy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is absolutely delicious. I hope you give this a try. This is so good. So, so good. Mmm. The meat is just perfectly cooked, perfectly tender. And the gravy just, I mean, it's just so smooth with the potatoes and the meat. It's delicious, guys. Okay, guys, this is so good. It's really, really good. I'm not just saying that. It's really good. I will have the recipe and everything linked in the description box below. If you have any questions about the recipe, leave it in the comments and I will get back with you. Okay, that's gonna conclude the video for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it because I really enjoyed making it for you. If you enjoyed our content, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, guys. The link will be right there. And don't forget, share with family and friends. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.